Women don't want men, they want sons. One of the things that I think is interesting is how some women almost move up the social hierarchy in their friend circle when they enter a relationship. They're now the relationship advice friend. They're now the friend who has everything together because she found a man to love her. She found a black man to love her. And I think a lot of women idealize that position. So we'll enter relationships that they might not have any business being in, but just because they want to now become the friend who's got a man. So right now, the big movement is this whole me and somebody's son thing. I think it's problematic. I think, <laughs> I think it's a beautiful concept. I think the idea that it's promoting, and even in the bio of the Instagram page, it's for people who are inspired by images of black love. First of all, let's break down the, uh, the semantics. Me, usually describing the young lady, and somebody's son. I think number one, a black man is more than just somebody's son. I think a black man is more than just an accessory for your Instagram. A black man is more than just a partner for photo shoots. And I think on some level, especially when we consider the hashtag relationship goals, in the eyes of some women, we're viewed as a commodity. We're viewed as somebody, not somebody that you build with and you partner with in a beautiful union, but simply somebody that is an instrument in her making her friends jealous, in her painting an image of herself of having a life, uh, a certain type of life, a certain type of wisdom, having achieved a certain level. On top of that, we have to also consider the fact that the ideas of a man that are popularized, you know, in our culture today are really, really harmful and bastardized ideas of what a man is. They want somebody that makes them feel necessary. They want somebody that they feel like they are the catch in the situation. I can discard him at any time. I'm making his life better. I am the gift from God to him, as opposed to somebody who makes, who makes you have to hold yourself accountable, who makes you have to step your game up, who makes you now understand that, listen, you're not that hot. You know, you're not that popping as you think you are because I'm, I'm a catch too. I got my shit together financially, mentally, socially, spiritually, physically, whatever the case may be.